Hello. Have you ever come across a chocolate fountain? A chocolate fountain is like a water fountain, but it allows melted chocolate to cascade down over several tiers of deliciousness. Hold that picture. In 1 John 4 verse 19, John points out that God loved us first. Love that we don't deserve. And our response is that we love God back. It's a simple two-way love bond. But then in our verse for today, 1 John 4 verse 20, he says, Whoever claims to love God, yet hates a brother or sister, is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. John sets a stark challenge for us. Allow the love that God has shown us to cascade down onto those around us, like chocolates in a chocolate fountain. And if we don't do that, it calls into question our love for God. Love between me and God is to all intents and purposes invisible. The only way it can be seen is if it cascades over to others, my brothers and sisters and beyond. If I love God, then it must show in my life. And the only practical way to do this, John says, is if I demonstrate it in the way I am towards people who can be seen, my brothers and sisters in Christ. In John's view, it's quite a simple equation. My love for God is shown in my love for other people. No love for other people equals no love for God. Jesus teaches in the Lord's Prayer and elsewhere that forgiveness fits into the same equation. I have been forgiven and therefore I should allow forgiveness to cascade down to others, forgiven so that I can forgive. And in Proverbs 17 verse 9, forgiveness and love come together. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven. Father God, may your love cascade from me in each thought and deed and attitude. Help me to show loving kindness to the greatest and the least, gentleness that sows the path of peace. Turn my strivings into works of grace. Loving God, show your love in all I say and do today. Amen.